This is Regina Davis, NARUC Director of Communications, and we're in downtown Washington, D.C. at the NARUC Winter Policy Summit. And joining us this afternoon is Michelle Thadani. I'm sorry if I botched your name. No, you did just fine. <laughs> and, and you're with Urban, one of our top sponsors. Thank you so much for sponsoring uh, our conference this year. So tell us a little bit about Urban. Yeah, no, and thank you for the invitation. I really appreciate the chance to be here. Um, at Urban, we build AI technology solutions uh, to help utilities uh, be empowered to improve safety and resilience uh, to help enhance those uh, two aspects of the communities that they serve. So how long has Urban uh, been around? We've been around since 2015, though directly working with utilities since, since 2017. Okay, because I was thinking, I haven't seen you guys uh, around the conferences much. So it's great that uh, you're supporting uh, these activities and bringing some solutions uh, in, in this space. So tell me a little bit more about how the innovation and safety work in terms of what you're doing at Urban. Yeah, well, I think what you're seeing uh, around the utility industry is a couple of key factors that are changing the way that both gas and electric uh, utilities are operating their systems. One is that you see an increase in urbanization. Uh, currently, 80% of people are now living in dense urban areas. Uh, another aspect is that you have drastically changing weather patterns. And these stresses uh, really do have an impact on the risk profile of, of a utility system. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is by bringing innovation to the table, is we are helping model all of these different characteristics. So take weather, topology, soil types, and every interaction that these external factors have with a pipeline or an electric system, there is a potential for risk to be created. And so we try to assess these risks mm -hmm. and then bring it to the utilities to help optimize their operational programs and respond uh, directly to those risks to prevent any sort of disastrous scenarios from occurring. So. Let's uh, break down what you just said about 80% uh, of folks going into these dense, densely populated urban areas. Now, it may seem fairly intuitive that this can cause a stress, but can you give us some, some more examples of, of why this is of concern to urban planners and folks involved in the utility space? Sure, absolutely. So, um, you know, what you're seeing with, especially with the growth of the economy and more people moving to cities, there's a whole lot of construction activity that's happening with cities. And of course, it's not only electric lines and gas pipes and, tele and telecom uh, facilities that exist beneath the ground when all these construction activities are happening. Mm -hmm. There are all sorts of facilities underground. So what we are doing is helping model all those construction activities that are happening to make sure to prevent damages and instances of risk from uh, from occurring on those infrastructure. Okay, so how does AI technology, artificial intelligence, that's a, a very hot topic, so sure. tell us a little bit more about how that uh, plays a role in the technology and the innovation. Yeah, so I, it really comes down to the fact that we are ingesting a large amount of data uh, and the fact that AI is really good at parsing out the relationships mm -hmm. between several correlating factors that might lead to an incident happening on, the, uh, on, an, on a grid or pipeline system. Um, so if you take that excavation damage scenario, uh, you know, maybe it's not uh, a specific excavation um, uh, that would norm normally occur, cause a damage on the system, but maybe it was a hot day. Maybe there was a chance of rain. Maybe th that the land on the excavation area was sloped. All of these different factors right. uh, are different predictors mm -hmm. in determining how risky uh, an excavation is, and so we help the, we help translate uh, those those data points into an actual risk profile that the utility can then respond to. Wow, that's really great. So, tell us um, while you're here, what are you learning, seeing, and, and, and hearing when when you interact with uh, our attendees? Yeah, you know what. What is a really big part of the conversation is what's going to be the future of natural gas, and while you know uh, uh, the conversations around decarbonization um, are, are, are really uh, thoughtful and interesting to be, to debate around, mm -hmm. we know that the one thing that's foundational to the gas industry is safety. Um, so when we have discussions around the natural gas system. We know that we need to make sure that no matter what happens over the next 50 years, we need to be innovating and developing solutions that help increase the safety of the gas system. And so I've been right. I've been hearing a, a lot of receptiveness to that that type of conversation. Well, that's good because, as you know, regulators are concerned with three key aspects, and that's uh, reliability, cost, and safe delivery of services. So that safety element is very key to to us to our our members at NARUC. 
And frankly, so is the affordability piece, right? Because as risks grow on the system, right. the, the traditional response mm -hmm. from a utility is let's spend more on the mm -hmm. operational programs. Now, what we help do when we, we holistically analyze risk in a really dynamic and granular way, we give the utilities uh, the tools necessary to make sure that every dollar spent is done so for maximum risk reduction and for the best enhancement of safety. Great. Is there anything else uh, we haven't discussed that you'd like to share with us today? Um, well, yeah, sure. I mean, it's, you know, we think that technology and innovation uh, across the board is really important for commissioners uh, and regulators and really the entire community here at Nehruk, um to always be paying attention to. So we're really, really glad to support as a sponsor. Uh, and of course, we always are interested in having conversations around how innovation can best serve uh, the, the goals of safety, reliability, and affordability. Well, thank you so much. We're learning a, a lot. So we're so glad that you could be a part of this year's policy summit. Thanks so much. Appreciate it, Regina.